Hello friends, this video on triangles part 45 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 44. We'll take home example. A ladder 10 meter long reaches a window 8 meter above the ground. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the base of the wall. So the question says there is a window actually 8 meter above the ground. There is a window. There is a building and there is a window in this building actually. This is a window. Right? This is a big building with a window here. There is a ladder. Ladder, you know, this is ladder. This is the ladder. And this is a 10 meter long. This is 10 meter long. And the window is 8 meter above the ground. The question says find the distance of foot of the ladder from the base of the wall. This is a wall actually. This is the whole wall. So define this distance. The foot of the ladder from the base of the wall. Very simple. If you take this triangle ABC, this is a right triangle. So we can say that BC square is nothing but AC square minus VA square. Because it's right triangle, ABC is the hypotenuse. This is nothing but 110 square minus 8 square that is 100 minus 64 or BC is nothing but root of 100 minus 64 that is 36 or BC is root of 36 that is 6 centimeter. So the distance of the ladder from the wall is 6 centimeter. Okay, let's take another example. A wire attached to a vertical pole of height 18 is 20, well, 24 meter long and has a stake attached to another end. How far from the base of the pole should the stake be driven so that wire will be taut? So there is a pole, a ladder pole, this is a pole, this is a pole and the height of the pole is 18 meter. Correct? A vertical pole, 20. A wire is attached from this pole to this ground and the length of this wire is 24 meter. Correct? This is a pole actually, electric pole. From this pole, there is a wire 24 meter attached. To it. How far from the base of the pole should this wire be tagged like this so that it is stout, straight? This straight is the maximum distance. So let this be x. Again, if you see, this is a right triangle. This is a right triangle actually. If you take the center of this, this is a right triangle. So here also we can say that x is nothing but root of 24 square minus 18 square. Why? Because if ABC is a right triangle, AC is hypotenuse, CB is nothing but AC square minus AB square. Right? CB is nothing but root of AC square minus AB square. This comes out to be root of 24 square is 576 minus 18 square is 324 that comes out to be root of 256 and that is nothing but 6 sorry is 3 252 252 that comes out to be 6 into 6 36 into 7 to the 6 root 7 meter so this distance to be 6 root 7 meter so that the Wire is top. Let's take an example. An aeroplane leaves an airport and flies due north at a speed of 100 km per hour. At the same time, another aeroplane leaves the same airport and flies due west at the speed of 100 km, 120 km per hour. How far will they be after a mile and a half hour? So the question says there is a airport. From here, one, see, if you see, this is north, this is south. This is east and this is west. One aeroplane flies north at the speed of 100, 1000 km per hour and the other is due west at this 1200 km per hour. Right? Now, distance is equal to speed into time. So, in first case, distance 1 will be speed was 1000 km per hour into time time is nothing but 
hours that is 1500 the second case the speed was 120 km and the time is still same 1.5 so it is 1800 km that means we got a right triangle actually here here this is 1500 km and this is 1800 km the question is how far these two airplanes are now so to find this distance if you see this triangle abc this is right triangle ac square will be equal to bc square plus ab square right bc is nothing but 1800 square and ab square is 1500 square correct so this is nothing but ab square is 3240000 plus 15 is 225 to add four zeros add this this becomes 5494 zeros so ac is nothing but root of 5490000 that comes out to be 300 root 61 km so this is 300 Route 61. So this is the distance between both the planes. Let's take one more question. Two poles of height six meter and eleven meter stand on a playing ground. If the distance between the feet of the pole is twelve meter, find the distance between their tops. That is, this is one pole, not straight actually. This is another pole, again not straight. So the distance. This is six meter. This is eleven meter. The distance between their feet is. 12 meter. We need to find the distance between their tops. That is, to find this is very simple actually. If you see right, this is also a right triangle. This is 12. This is 6. This is 11. This has to be 5. So we will get a right triangle ABC. Here AC will be equal to root of CB square minus B square. Correct. This is B. That will be root of twelve square. Sorry, plus twelve square plus five square. That is root of one forty four plus twenty five. That is root of one sixty nine. That comes out to be so. The distance between the top is thirteen meter. Very simple. Just draw this diagram. One pole, another pole. The distance between the pole is twelve meter. We have to find the Distance between their tops. Let's take a more example. The question says D and E are points on side C A and C B respectively of triangle A B C, right triangle C. We have to prove that A square plus B D square is equal to A B square plus D E square. Let's form the right triangle A B and C, right angle at C. Correct. D and E are points on C A and C B. So let's draw this point D and E. Correct. This is my triangle complete. Now we have to prove that. A E square plus B D square is equal to A B square plus D E square. How to approach? First, let's find A E square because A E square is something we shall looking for. So A E square will be equal to A C square plus E C square. Correct. Similarly, B D square will be equal to Because we are talking about BD square also, BD square will be equal to DC square plus BC square. Let's add these two. Let's add what we get: A square plus BD square is equal to AC square plus BC square plus DC square plus EC square. Why I clubbed this? Because AC square plus BC square is something I know. AB square, AC square plus CB square is nothing but AB square. So it becomes AB square. Similarly, D square and EC square becomes D square. So this becomes D square. And that is what we are supposed to. Very simple. Pythagoras theorem. The moment you get question, just apply Pythagoras theorem, and you will get the answer. We will take one more example. The perpendicular drawn from A on side BC of triangle ABC intersects BC at point D such that DB is equal to 3CD. 
That is, if this is x, this is 3x. So let's do one thing. Let's find AB square. AB square is nothing but AD square plus D square. That is AD square plus 3x whole square. That is AD square plus 9x square. Similarly, AC square will be AD square plus CD square. That is AD square plus X square. If you see from both the equation, I'll try to find AD square. So I'll get in from first equation, I'll get AD square is nothing but AB square minus 9x square. This is the first equation. From second equation, I get AD square is nothing but AC square minus X square. I can say both are equal. So I'll say AB square minus 9x square is equal to AC square minus x square. So what I get is AB square minus AC square is equal to 9x square minus x square is equal to AX square. Correct. What I have to prove? I have to prove that twice of AB square minus ac square is equal to bc square so let me find twice of ab square ac square twice of ab square minus ac square is equal to 2 into 8x square that is 16x square that is nothing but 4x whole square 4x is nothing but bc so it's nothing but bc square and that is what i am supposed to very simple just try to find ad ac all this term in using Pythagoras theorem, AB in terms of AD and BC, AC in terms of AD and CD, and you'll get the answer. We'll take one example. In an equilateral triangle ABC, D is the point on BC such so that BD is equal to 1 by 3 BC. We have to prove that 9 AD square is equal to 7 AB square. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.